Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this extremely actionable and informative video on how to become a data analyst this year. This is a step-by-step -step roadmap that I wish I had when I was first trying to break into data analytics. I'm also working on a detailed PDF version of this roadmap that literally lays out every step that you need to take in order to make this happen for yourself, along with a bunch of free and paid learning resources. And I'll show you how to get that at the end of this video. Before we dive into it, let's be clear on who this video is for. This video is for those of you who want to become a data analyst. This video is for those of you who are just leaving college, not sure what you want to do, but want a lucrative career that offers long-term stability and flexibility. This video is for those of you who's really burned out in your current career path and is looking to explore something new. My name is Oliver Pan, and I've worked as a data analyst at Big Tech and Fortune 500. And for me, becoming a data analyst has changed my life. It helped me win from barely being able to pay my bills to having a six-figure skill set that allows me to take care of my loved ones and live a life of abundance. Now buckle up, because I'll show you how to become a data analyst this year with just six simple steps. These are the six steps that you need to take this year to become a data analyst. Step one is to learn the technical tools, SQL, Excel, PowerPoint, Tableau, and Python in the orders that I listed. Step two is finding your niche and sticking to it. Data analysts can work in many industries like healthcare, finance, tech, and even sports betting. Becoming a specialist rather than a generalist make you stand out in the job interview process. Step three is building a portfolio that caters towards employers in your niche and make you stand out in the job application process. Step four is applying to jobs the smart way. Bulk applying to the jobs that are on Indeed or LinkedIn should not be your only strategy. You need to leverage LinkedIn to reach out to your first, second, or even third degree connections. Step five is acing the job interview. You need to carry yourself as someone who is a revenue generator rather than a cost center. Step six is to impress and build strong relationships in the first 90 days. This is the most important part of the roadmap because getting a job is not enough. You need to keep it and move up in the organization. And now let's deep dive into these steps one by one. Step one to becoming a data analyst is learning the technical tools. And I firmly believe that everyone who's trying to break into data analytics need to learn SQL, Excel, PowerPoint, Tableau, and Python in that order. And the reason behind that is actually very simple. Each of these technical tools represent a step in a data analyst workflow. You really need to be able to walk before you can run. You know, life is not an Avengers movie. And, you know, if you get that reference, leave me a comment and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll be friends. So let's go through them one by one. SQL or structured query language is the code that you write to get data from databases. Even at the entry level, you need to be able to write SQL code and retrieve data, and you will be tested on SQL in most data analyst interviews. For beginners, some key SQL concepts to learn are numeric operations like sum, count, and divide, filtering clauses like where and having, and different kinds of joins for compiling data from different data sources or tables. And when you get a little bit more advanced, you need to learn subqueries and common table expressions. The next technical tool on the list is Excel. Excel is the bread and butter of data analytics. You can do a little bit of everything in there. You can clean data, you can analyze data, you can visualize data. A lot of gurus in the industry tell you to focus on the shiny things and ignore Excel. And as a practitioner who's been doing this for seven years, I can tell you Excel is still one of the most important tools for a data analyst. It allows you to quickly clean, visualize, and analyze data. And most companies that you're going to be working for, they're going to use Excel or Google Sheet for a lot of their reports, regardless of the size of the company. The next technical tool that data analysts need to learn is PowerPoint. You might be asking yourself, like, why is this guy telling me to learn PowerPoint? This is so basic. Well, this is because as a data analyst, you can't work in a vacuum. You need to make presentations that are concise and to the point. PowerPoint is how you communicate with other stakeholders within the company and show your value. If your analytics technical skills is a 10 out of 10, 
and your PowerPoint or presentation skills is two out of 10, you're gonna have a very hard time getting buy-in from other parts of the company and your stakeholders will not think of you very highly. As a result, your impact on the organization and your career projection is going to be fairly limited unless you can master PowerPoint and the art of presentation. The next thing you need to learn is a data visualization tool like Tableau. And you will typically use a tool like this for two reasons. Reason number one is executive dashboards. This is automated reporting that senior leaders within your organization can use to quickly extract insights and take action to manage business performance. Reason number two is self-serve analytics. So you might have some stakeholder teams that have the same questions recurrently on a weekly or monthly basis. If you build a dashboard for them, uh, instead of coming to you every time when they have a question, you know, they can just self-serve with a dashboard that you build. This is gonna free up a lot of time for you to do value add work. The last data analytics tool on the list is Python. Python is a programming language that's great for automation and machine learning. If you're just starting out, Python is a nice to have, especially if you're just getting your first analyst job. Python is good for data cleaning, repetitive tasks, and running some machine learning algorithm to extract insights on your data. All in all, Python makes someone a more efficient and effective analyst. However, the learning curve is so steep that I don't recommend it for beginners that are just starting out. There's a lot of free and paid resources that you can use to learn these things, and I'm gonna include them in the step-by-step -step PDF guide. Now on to step two, finding your niche and sticking to it. There's a lot of different industries that data analysts can work in. Healthcare, tech, digital marketing, consumer goods, just to name a few. Instead of a data analyst that does it all, you should try to focus on one to two niches that you have a passion for or are super interested in. This will definitely make you stand out and give you an edge in the interview process. If you have a hard time deciding your niche, just think about your unfair advantage compared to other job applicants. For example, if you're a paid media buyer trying to transition into data analytics, you should go for digital marketing analyst roles. With your existing experience, you're really gonna stand out in the applicant pool. And you don't even need to have work experience. A strong affiliation or interest will do. For example, if you're a college athlete uh, who's trying to become a data analyst, you can consider working for the NBA. And in your job application, you really need to emphasize your passion for the sport and how your analytical skills and your passion for the industry will make you excel in this role. Now, step number three is building a data analytics portfolio that caters toward company in your niche. A data analytics portfolio is a collection of artifacts that show your ability to clean, analyze, and visualize data. Because of the lucrative nature of the data analyst role, you're gonna be up against hundreds, if not thousands of job applicants for every single job posting. Having a data analytics portfolio significantly improves your probability of getting an interview. This is because you're demonstrating your value to a potential employer upfront. Anybody can just claim that they know Excel in the resume. Having a portfolio shows it. You really have to approach this from the perspective of the employer. They wanna pick the candidate that's most likely to succeed in a role. Let's run through an example together, right? Let's say you're an employer. Would you pick little Johnny with a generic resume or Sally who shared a link to her portfolio in her resume with a work similar to the kind of stuff that she'll be doing in this role. As an employer, this is a no brainer, right? Step number four is applying to jobs the smart way. Applying to jobs is a numbers game. And to be completely honest, it can get very depressing very quickly. And this is why we wanna do everything in our power to stack the odds in our favor. Don't just use quick apply on LinkedIn, there's other strategies that you can use to land a role quicker, especially if this is gonna be your first data analyst job. Networking is one of the most effective ways to land a job quicker. Reach out to people in your network. This could be someone that went to the same school, a family friend, or even a second or third degree connection on LinkedIn. And you can send them a message like this. Hey Jane, my name is Oliver. I see that we both went to Georgetown 
and you're currently a VP of data at company X. As someone who's interested in a career in data, I would love to learn more about what you do and how you like working at company X. And that's it. Try to keep it short and sweet. When they respond, try to ask for an informational interview. If the conversation goes well, they might refer you to their company, set you up with someone that's hiring, or give you helpful tips. One thing to keep in mind is that you should not ask someone to give you an internal referral right away, especially if this person doesn't know your work very well. Believe it or not, I have a bunch of random people that I've never worked with reaching out to me, asking me to hook them up with a job. You need to understand that if someone refers you to their company and you don't perform, their reputation within their organization will suffer. All right, folks, as I was recording, I realized uh, I will be doing you a disservice if I try to cover interview tips in this video, as that's usually a topic that most people have questions about. Uh, so we're going to skip that for now. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to drop a full video on interview tips at a later date. Step number five is killing it within the first 90 days once you get the job. Trust me, the number of aspiring data analysts that don't get this is starting to depress me at this point. I'm going to keep saying it and shout it from the mountaintop if I have to. Companies pay data analysts well because the actionable insights that they provide can result in millions of dollars in incremental revenue or savings. So once you get the job, that's when the real work begins. You need to figure out your company's goals and what metrics to analyze to help them go from where they currently are to where they want to go. Once you start delivering insights that help your company optimize operations, improve revenue, and slash costs, they will be incentivized to give you promotions and raises to retain you. All right, folks, there you have it. This was the step-by-step -step guide on becoming a data analyst this year. Depending on how much time you want to put into it, you can get this whole process done in as little as 90 days. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I'll try my best to get back to you. If you go to the first link in the video description, you can subscribe to my newsletter and you'll be the first to know when the detailed PDF version of this roadmap becomes available. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share this with someone in your life that's trying to break into data analytics or data science. The job market is absolutely brutal out there. So make sure you give your friend a resource that's gonna stack the odds in their favor. All right, until next time, this is your favorite internet tech bro, Oliver Pan. Hope you have a wonderful day and your hard work pays off soon.